Okay, so the whole reason I'm making this video is in online and in hybrid classes, I think the biggest issues that I've had usually have something to do with the online exams. Um, sometimes students have never taken an online class before and you're just intimidated. You don't know what to expect. So that makes you nervous for the test and that might make you perform worse. Um, so if that's the case, this is just going to show you how Respondents Lockdown Browser works and what you're going to need to do before you take the test. Now, another big issue that I'll have with online classes is honestly cheating. I'll have students that are blatantly cheating, like there's no denying you've got your phone out or your notes and all this during the test. And when I call you on it and when I give you a zero, I've had some students that were really honest and they said, listen, I've taken online classes before, but it's, you know, I, no one ever watched the videos, so I thought that I could do this. I'm telling you, I know at least with the science department, we watch the videos. So you do have certain things that you have to do to make sure that you get credit. And then there's things you can't do like cheat. Um, so for whatever reason, let's go through and um, look at Respondents Lockdown Browser just so you'll have a better idea of how we're going to use that and then what the tests are going to look like too. All right, so you're watching this video. Um, again, this is in the exams tab. That's where you're going to find all the exams in this class. I know this says 104, but if you're, I'm making a video for all of my classes, the instructions are the same. So if you're taking 103 or 104 or 201 or 202, the rules for here are going to be the same. So exams, practice exam, here's the video. The instructions, it's just a little more detailed version of what we're going through right here. So feel free to download that and read over it. Um, it's got some really good tips about the exam. You might want to plug into your um, router if you've got a cord. That seems to be a better internet connection. Um, just stuff like that. Make sure your battery's charged and all that. But read through that and let me know if you have any questions. If you need to install Lockdown Browser, you can do that right here. And if you've used browser Lockdown Browser at a different college or university, um, you're going to need to reinstall it here. You might have to, to uninstall the old version and reinstall it here because it's specific to Gadsden State. Okay, so let's say that you've got all that done and you're ready to take the practice exam. Now, it's, let me show you real quick. You have to use Lockdown Browser. So I'm not in it right now. I'm using like Firefox. If I try to take the test and I'm not using Lockdown Browser, it's going to say that I need a password. Okay. Now, what Lockdown Browser does is it automatically fills in this password. So if you're using Respondents Lockdown Browser, you're not going to see this screen at all. It's going to automatically fill it in and you can start the test. If you see this, that means that you haven't installed the Lockdown Browser or that you're not using it, okay? Now, when you install Lockdown Browser, if you have a PC, it's going to make an icon that's on your desktop. If you have a Mac, it's going to be in your applications. Um, but Lockdown Browser, you have to open that first. Once you do open it, it's going to take you to My Gadsden State. It's going to take you to the login page from My Gadsden State. And when you sign in there, it'll take you to Blackboard. Um, all Lockdown Browser is, is it's just a web browser, just like Firefox or Chrome. But it's made for taking tests, and the only place you can go is Blackboard. All right. So what you would do is, it'll take you to the home page. You would go to exams or wherever your tests are located. And then if I was in Lockdown Browser, when I click the practice exam, then it would let me take the test. I can't open it up in Lockdown Browser because I'm recording this video. And the whole point for Lockdown Browser is it doesn't want you to record or take pictures or screenshots. But let me show you uh, what it's going to look like. I made a, a PowerPoint that will kind of show us what to look for. So when you open up and once you've started the test, there's going to be a startup sequence. So you have to agree to terms of use just like anything um, in computers. You do a webcam check. All that is is making sure that your webcam is active. It's going to get you to make sure that you can see your image and that your microphone is working. 
tips and guidelines, read through that, but it's just going to be tips like make sure you're at a desk or a table. If you're at a bed, it's going to be um, hard to keep the webcam centered on your face. That's something you have to do. Um, tips for lighting and stuff like that. Okay, now when it gets to step three, it's going to get you to take a photo. So you literally just look in your webcam, webcam click uh, start or take, and it'll take a photo. Next up is student ID. So you'll hold up your ID, either your Gadsden State student ID or a driver's license, some type of photo ID, hold it up and take a picture. And then next is going to be the environment check. So it wouldn't let me use uh, lock, use um, the screen recorder to show you this, but here's what it says when you go to the environment check. You're going to have to clear your environment of all materials, so phones, books, notes, everything like that. Um, again, you need to be at a desk or a table, and you're going to push all of that out of the way. Just remove it from the surface of the table. Have it totally away from like arm's length or anything like that. Um, once your environment is clear, you are going to record your desk or table surface in front of you as well as a quick 360 of your environment. So I'll, I made an example. I'll show you of that in just a second. But you're going to show what is in front of you, just all of the area around you, and then a quick 360 of the room that you're in. I know that's not fun. Listen, I don't enjoy reviewing them. I promise you. I, I did the math. I almost cried today because I did the math. And this semester when I'm recording this, I've got, I believe... 131 students right now. They're all using Lockdown Browser. That means that I'm going to, I forgot how many hundreds of these videos I'm going to have to watch this semester. It's not fun, but it's something we have to do for online exams. This to me is the same thing as if you were taking a regular class and the instructor said, all right, clear your desk. That's all it is. We're just making sure that you don't have anything out when you're taking the test. So you're going to do that video. And then once you've finished your environment video, you cannot add anything to your environment. That should be common sense. Like I can't show that nothing's around me. And then I start adding stuff after the video's over. That kind of defeats the purpose. The other thing, a lot of people don't realize this is where they get in trouble. The other thing is that um, when you are done with your environment video, it keeps recording. So if you start pulling notes out, it's going to show that you're cheating and you will get a zero if you do that. All right. So here's what that environment video can kind of look like. All right. So you will just show your desk or table surface. And again, this is just like if you were in a classroom, you'd have to clear your desk off. your environment parenting pro tip by a new two-year-old drum set is a just an awful idea all right quick 360 your environment and you're done okay so that's it um when you do the environment video, it's going to make you review it before you go to the next step. So like it will play your video back for you. I know it can be really awkward, especially if your webcam is like built into your computer or if you've got an external webcam, that can be strange. I'm not looking for like, you know, Christopher Nolan directing all these awesome camera angles or anything like that. I just want to make sure that you're showing the stuff that you're supposed to show. So if you review your video and it didn't show your desk, like if you just kind of, I, I see this move so much where people will just like show over their shoulders and that's it. I don't care what's behind your shoulder. I want to see what's in front of you when you're taking the test. So if you recorded a video and it didn't show any of that, it's going to give you a chance to retake it. Like you literally have to say that your video was good before you can go to the next step. So just make sure you review it. Um, and then finally, after that, there's a few additional instructions. So it says that you cannot access any resources during the exam. Stay seated, focused on your screen. You have to look at the computer screen. Um, that's the same thing as like eyes on your own paper. Um, it the Lockdown Browser has this thing where it can actually detect if you're looking at the screen or not. So if you keep looking way away from your computer screen, it's going to flag that and I'm going to have to go back and review and like make sure and verify that you're looking at the screen or not. Um, so just make sure you're focused on the test. So it's finally 
um, it, sorry, if an interruption occurs, it's going to get you to uh, type out what happened. You can also just kind of say it into the video and I'll be able to watch that. And if you exit the exam, um, you cannot exit the exam until all the questions are completed and submitted for grading. So if you're halfway done with the test and you exit out, your test is done. Like it's going to submit everything, even the blank ones that you didn't answer. All right, so like I said, hopefully that's got it. This was just kind of to, to let you know what to expect before you take this. Now, so to practice before the real test, I've made a practice exam, and what I want you to do is go through those steps that we just looked at. So the main thing I'm looking for is all of like the startup sequence. This is to make sure that you can use the browser before the real test, that there's no technical issues. And then also it's just to make sure that you follow those instructions. So what I want you to do is take the practice exam, um, check the announcement under the my task, and I'll tell you the due date there. So just make sure you get it done before the due date. I'm going to review everyone's practice exam. And if you're good, if everything was good, I'm going to give you five points. If you didn't follow the instructions, I'm going to send you a message that said, hey, you skipped the environment video, or hey, you didn't have a photo ID. You need to redo the, the practice exam before you can get credit. Like I said, I know it's a pain, but I want to make sure that we're in agreement, like we understand what you have to do to get credit. I'd a lot rather have a, a misunderstanding right now on the practice exam um, than a misunderstanding where I'm saying, listen, you didn't follow the instructions. I can't give you credit for the 100-point test, okay? Like I said, I know it's not fun. I don't enjoy it either, but for online classes, that's what we have to do. So just take this as soon as you get a chance, and I will review it. And then, like I said, if everything's good, you can get five bonus points for doing that. All right, let me know if you have any questions, and um, that's it.